those. This is a gravity lift. You all know what a gravity lift is. If not, I'll show you. Just deploy it and we. Yeah, whatever. Um, no, I don't want a gravity lift. Okay. We. All right. Now to destroy one of these from the front, you can shoot it, or you can just walk up to it and do that. Otherwise, I do believe I'm not sure, but I think human weapons can shoot through it, and and uh, covenant weapons cannot. From this side, I don't think it can from this side. So they're pretty nice. Clog up doors and stuff. Now, you can get rid of them, like this. It's gone, but notice this is still here, and it will recharge. You played any of the Halos, you already know this. If there it is. Oh, right there's a regenerator. It makes a really it makes a green aura that heals you really fast. And they can bring back your shield. It's like it'll almost never stop charging. But it doesn't last forever and it's I mean, I don't know, I never really saw what's point. Now a lot of people get stuck here because they're like, well, that's how right there's clogged, so obviously I'm not supposed to go there. So down here? No, maybe I missed something. Maybe this is I don't know why it's here. But no, no, they come come down here. And there's a little hole right here. And the body. Oh, it's bounce, like a bouncy ball. But yeah, a lot of people get stuff. Let's come down here by the rubble. Let's go down to the base of the rubble as a hole. Now Cortana's gonna talk to us to prepare to get a little glitching. And you cannot move very fast. You can jump and everything. Now there are buggers in here. I shouldn't be wasting my ammo on them. Ah! Usually they don't stop. Usually they fly through. Unless they accidentally run into you. Now you can get into these, I mean, if you really care that much, you can get into these, and, you know, kind of go up, but I mean, they, they turn upwards, so you can't really get very far. But it's somewhat nifty. Alright, now that's a skull down here. And don't just jump off the edge if you want the skull. I mean, if you don't care about the skull, you go right on ahead and do whatever your little heart desires. But if you want the skull, definitely do what I do after I'm done killing these damn things. I hate these things so much. Usually they don't stop. Why are they stopping for me? Whatever. Um, now right here. You see, you see underneath us? That little lip? Yeah. I want to catch on to that. So just barely walk up the side, and then you want to press back. Like as soon as you fall. Uh, aww. Well, it's not a skull back down there anyway. I've never actually failed at that, so wow. But um, if you walk up the edge of that, and then you immediately press back, like you walk, try to walk backwards, you can go down in there, and then you turn around and go straight back to the back of the skull. I'm sorry I couldn't show you. But right here's the arbiter who joins back up with us. He would have been yelling at some buggers we would have got here sooner, but we didn't. So don't get seen them. Now down here you're gonna see a man get thrown and die. Now this is always my favorite part. Do this and miss and then hit him in the knee. Man, yeah, taking arrows to the knee. I probably shouldn't have said that. I'll probably never do it again. Um I'm sorry, I've been failing so much, but, especially like that, I throw the wrong grenade, let alone it actually hits his head, bounces off with the frag. I actually stuck someone with a frag once. It was a brute, and it got stuck in his armpit, and it stayed there, because his arm was holding it there. It was like, I don't know why the graphics allowed that to happen, but it was awesome. That didn't work, I was hoping that would kill him too. Well, he just stuck himself in the face, so. Okay. Yeah, a little shower. Whatever. Um. Uh, now. A good way to do this on Legendary. Come up here. I want this ladder. Now up here. There's a little series of tunnels. And these tunnels connect all the way around. And you can look down and you can see some brutes. Just like this. And you can stick them. You can shoot them. You can do whatever you want. And you come way over here. This is where they're keeping the human hostage. So you just drop down, be like, "Boom, bitch," and miss, and then completely ruin the moment I was trying to set up. But that's if you want to be like me, and we all know everyone wants to be like me and fail at Halo, even though they played it out eighty thousand times. But whatever. <sighs> now there's a hero down here. He has a plasma cannon instead of a instead of a uh, hammer, which is minorly annoying. He just killed that other one, which is very helpful for me. But you cannot stick them. They bounce off. Like that. It'll still hit him, of course, if it like, lands near him. And then he blows himself up by throwing grenades. Which is kind of funny. But you cannot stick him. The grenades will bounce off. They won't bounce far. So the chances are they'll still hurt him, but they can't stick him. So that'd be too easy. You can stick him in to kill him. Now 
Now we come down here, and let's see how many humans we have with us now. We have the Arbiter, one, two, three, four, five. Use on Legendary, get down here with none if you're lucky. Now I gotta wait a long time for the elevator to get down here, so I'm gonna have some Mountain Dew, because I am a firm believer in some good Dew. I've gone over the limit. I'm sorry. I'll have to break this up into two parts. So I'm gonna keep going until almost half of an hour. Come in, come in here, let all the humans load up, because they can be your little meat shields. And I threw it! Wow! And that is how retarded I am, folks. Why are you watching my walkthrough? <sighs> I'm sorry. I love this thing, too. Whatever. Now the video's gone over. It's almost 20 minutes long. I haven't been paying attention to it. So I'll just cut it in half at, 50, at the 30 mark. So, yeah, I definitely apologize. Oh, well, these are trip mines. I'm sure we all know what a trip mine does. We've all watched James Bond. So you can also shoot them. Or you can walk on them. But these are all jetpack routes. They all, of course, have jetpacks. But they all take a minute to charge. And they aren't that tough to beat. Oh, look at that! Rape! That was awesome! That was... Wow, okay. Now, come up here. Now the door's open. It's not open when you first get down here. Like I threw away. It's not open until they start coming out of it. Now, what you want to do, you want to come up here, and I'm actually going to get rid of this. A decently large explosion, hurts them quite a bit. We take pictures of the right moment, it looks like a volcano. Um, I'm come in here, another control room. That right there is invincibility. Now, I'm sure we all know what the word invincible means, that's literally what it does. It makes it so that no one can hurt you in any way, unless you fall off the cliff. You will slow down. So, so don't, don't. Don't try that. Um, but you cannot be shot, grenade, nothing. You can still move if like a brute slaps you. And I believe right there is a gravity lift. We're gonna take the invincibility and probably never use it. And you don't have to walk the way down. You can just do that. Now, the off center, the place with the giant bomb, got penetrating. So you cannot get on this and fly away. Once again, passing up our ride. Um, so you gotta get down there and you gotta arm the bomb. Read the little clip down there. Which on the off center? Arm the bomb. Okay. Gonna scooch safe from my life in danger. Goodbye, only right off. Um. <sighs> Look at all these destroyed. Look at all this destroyed money. Like, seriously, how much money is sitting down here burning? And there's of course one on the And I just. Oh no, I'm sorry. That is not invincibility. It's cloaking. Makes it so that you cannot be seen. I am so sorry. I have not played Halo in such a long time. I am sorry. I am doing a very bad walkthrough. Why are you watching me? Um. I definitely apologize. I still love you for you to subscribe. Subscribe is a failure. Whatever. Um. Be a new thing. Anyway, I was gonna. Now, you can use that to get into the off center without them seeing you. Pretty sure it's got to stop. Nope, apparently you can't get stuck either. That's nice. Now, if, a, if an explosion goes off close enough to a grunt, I'm not gonna try to demonstrate because I doubt it'll work. And I'll just make myself look even worse than I already do. But, um, how's that not true? We'll throw a sticky up there because they won't bounce too much. You get one? Yep, we well, both, nice. Alright, um... Now, there might be some shotgun ammo up here, I'm honestly not sure, I don't remember. But, if a grenade goes off close enough, or an explosion of any kind goes off close enough, look at his teeth! Goes off close enough to a, uh... A grunt, they will start walking around holding their head, because of the explosion, and it gives you a minute to kill them. But I doubt you have trouble with grunts anyway, so I'm not sure why I'm saying that. You open up this. And there's a bunch of brutes just standing around. So what you want to do, probably aim for... Aim between the legs. Third time. It's going to be a meme for my entire series. This one is a Fjord cannon. Now if you know anything about Fjord cannon, they are the alien equivalent of a rocket launcher. 
They shoot faster, they don't do quite as much damage, and if you shoot them at the right time, they bounce off the floor. Or whatever you hit. Because it takes them a minute to actually, like, initialize, I guess is the word. You're in the way. Um. Alright. Now I'm going to show you what these things do. Uh, I did not want the player. I did not want that. I want this. Alright. Now, uh, we'll involve in a second. I got fuel. Kind of. Probably not. Anyway, um, two on the floor, they bounce off. Otherwise, they don't. Like, they won't bounce off. I guess it Well, it takes a little while to initialize. Like, when you shoot it, see when it gets all big and, like, it flares, that's when you know it's not going to bounce off anything anymore and it'll blow up. But if you hit anything, before it does that, like, it'll bounce. So, kind of cool. And they shoot fast. Like, a rocket launcher goes bam, bam, you got to reload. This one also holds five instead of two, so you can shoot them all pretty rapidly. So it's kind of nice. Anyway, let's take this. No, no, yeah, ha ha, I am done. Throw it. We get new weapons next time anyway. All right. Now we're gonna unbomb. Now I gotta get the hell out of here. It's gonna split your blue. Now you gotta go back to where you first came. Down here. Go back to the hangar bay. The first. Ride we missed. Now you can shoot and kill these guys if you want, but there's a bomb. I mean, you're not, it's not actually gonna go off on you if you don't get up there in time. I mean, they're not that mean. But, I mean, they're all running around like crazy, but not a threat. Don't worry about it. If you just run, you'll be perfectly fine. There's nothing massive that'll completely destroy you. There's Cortana. You know, we're gonna blow up. Play some pretty awesome music here. I love the Halo themes. Now this part, right here, all the buggers, if you can stick one, well, if they wouldn't have stopped, they would have all blown up. I almost said blown up. Get away from me! Yeah! I need some points. I only killed two. Whatever. Um. Yeah, and the points, I think Jack was kind of seven. And Grunt's kind of three. I don't remember what anything else counts for. I apologize. Cortana, I'm gonna blow up. Thanks. I get down here. You know, they're still dropping off reinforcements. Who know the bomb's gonna go off? I mean, why are they still dropping them if they always know the bomb's going off? Like, that look at like, wait, come back. But, he's not coming back. They're gonna die. They do not so much to stop. If you play Halo 2, you know that. This is the other you come to, press the button. Then it blows up. Kabam! And somehow you make it up fine. Minor burns, maybe. So that doesn't do a pretty big bomb. But still, the Arbiter. If you have two players, the other player is the Arbiter, and he will come out with minor burns. Now, I'm probably going to stop the video here. Yeah, I'll stop the video here. So, thank you for watching, and, well, we'll go over the battle stats first. Let's go over the stats, and then I'll end it. And I, once again, apologize for going over time and having split it halfway. I might, if I can figure out how, I'm not very good at the whole video editing thing yet, but if I can figure out how, I will put in a little side note at the end saying I had to cut this off here because I didn't realize I'd gone over time. I was like, playing in the next video, or something like that. I don't know, I'll do something like that. Whatever. Um... So, yeah, we'll, we'll try that. Now let's look at our carnage. We killed 121 enemies and one friendly, which I don't remember. 94 grunts, 14 jackals, 7, um, brutes, and 3 hero brutes. No, no vehicles yet. We're getting there. Alright, and press the subscribe button, come glitches above this video, and stay tuned for more.